Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Hello. Yes, I, I want to say to you. You want what? I want to tell you. Yeah, why well, you are changing your voice? No, no, not changing okay, my speak, voice. Uh, stay a little bit away from the microphone and speak it clearly, please. Go ahead. <clears throat> I want to tell you. Yeah. Why are you confirming your place in Hawaii every single day? I what? I am what? You are confirming your place in Hellfire. I don't understand. I'm confirming what? Your place in hell. Oh, I will go to hell? Well, the Quran says I will go to heaven. Isn't it the oh. Quran says all the Christians will go to heaven? No, it does not say all Christians. Okay, are you sure? Yes. All right, read with me this verse then. You will go in front of everybody. And then you have to apologize for being ignorant about your Quran. Here we go. This, oh, no, don't tell me, don't tell me. No, no, here we go. This is the verse. It says that the Christians, the, the Jews, and the Sabian, all of them, they will go to heaven. Hmm? Those are the Christians who followed Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No, no problem, but this is in the time of Muhammad, my friend. But in the time of Muhammad, all of them, they believe that Jesus is God. So here it says, those who they are Christians, those who they are Jews, those who they are Muslim, even Sabian who worship stars, they will go to heaven. Chapter 2, verse number 62. Go ahead. Okay. Unitarian Christians, I believe they have chance to go to heaven. Doesn't matter. Unitarian Christian, I... they believe still. The Unitarian Christian, they believe that Jesus is God. No, they don't. They do. I know. I know Christians. No, you do not know. Unitarian Christian, they believe Jesus is God. All what they say, there's no father, there's no son, there's no, there's no three, this own. So they say Jesus is the same as the father. This is what the Unitarian Christians. So you're ignorant again. So now you get your prophet busted. So those who believe that Jesus is God, they will go to heaven. This is what the Quran says. You know, the Quran says, when, when Allah is talking to you, why don't you accept him? Why don't what? Can you stay what? a little bit from the microphone because you are too close, I think. Why don't you accept Allah? That's what I'm saying. Why I don't accept Allah? Give me a reason to accept Allah. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah is the one who closed our heart? So how am I going to accept Allah when He is the one who oh. saved our heart? Didn't Allah say what? after that what didn't Allah say in the Quran we have created man and jinn for hell? He created man and jinn for hell? No, that that what it says, right? Then uh, you guys like to say, see, Allah created uh, us for hell. That's what you guys like to say. But you guys don't read the verse after that Allah says we have no, given. We will, read, we will read the verse after it. Here we go. It says, chapter 4, verse number 88. It says that Allah, Allah saying to Muhammad, are you going to guide those who Allah deceived? Why are you going to that verse? Why not? This is the verse I'm quoting for you. We are quoting a oh. different verse now. And you can give me the verse, the other verse, so we can laugh at it too. Which verse are you talking about? Which verse are you talking about? Give me the verse. Which verse are you talking about? Allah says we gave them Which right. verse? Which verse? Give me the verse. What the verse number? Chapter, verse number. Don't you know? You are a rabbit. No, I'm not. You know. There's the, the, your prophet, he keep making poopoo. I don't know which one you are talking about. So which poopoo you are talking about? Give me the chapter. Give me the verse number. No, I will say it and you you are Arabic. Okay, so say it in Arabic. Know. Go ahead. No, I, I don't know Arabic. I will say it in English. But, you, you, oh. <laughs> but the Quran was not given to Muhammad in English. Say it to me in Arabic. Oh my God. Allah says... Don't say, oh my God, say, oh my Allah. Uh, God is a, is a pagan word according to Muslims. So why do Muslims use it? Is it the word God used by the pagan? Why do oh. you use it? You have to say, oh my Allah. So you are telling me okay. Jesus was helpless on the cross when he said, Allah, Allah, why have you forsaken me? Nowhere Jesus, he said, Allah, Allah, this is Eli, Eli. What Eli, Eli have to do with Allah? Is your God is Eli? I mean, you can call him Eli, so what? Ah, uh, so why Allah, he says that he is Allah? Is Allah, is, Arabic, a, is, is, Allah is, a, is, an, is a, Allah is a name or a word mean God? Allah means God, the God. Oh, so it's not a name. And 
Ele, no, no, ele... Is, no, no, I'm asking you. Is Allah a word mean God or it is a name of your God? It, it is a word mean God. So why you Muslim you say there's no God but Allah? So you should say there's no Allah but Allah. We have to look. There is no God but God. We have to say Allah, meaning the qualities of God. Do you that... say, no, don't tell me quality. Do you say there's no Allah but Allah or you say there's no God but Allah? There is no Allah but Allah. Oh, okay. So Allah. So what uh, What Allah mean? You tell me. You tell me. Go ahead. What What? Uh, what Allah mean? I think it means God. Okay, so uh, Allah is God. Allah is not a uh, word mean God then. Allah means the God. Uh, the God. The true God. The okay. true God. Okay, Even okay. so the finger says that. Okay, hold on. What, what, what? Even what? Even that Jew, Tobia Singer, he also says that Allah means the God. My, true my, God. my toe? My toe say Allah is God? No, Tobia Singer, don't you know that Jew? Uh, Tobia Singer, okay, do, do you accept what Tobia Singer he said? I don't accept everything because he rejects no, Jesus. Either you is... No, either you accept him or not. You just say to every singer he said that. So he rejects Jesus. That means he rejects Muhammad too. He rejects Muhammad to be a prophet because the Quran confirmed that this is Jesus, correct? So you are you are asking me to ask a liar, according to your religion, to prove a point. Is how stupid you are? No. Because they he don't... refused Jesus. It... You are the one who said he refused Jesus. So if he refused yes. Jesus, why do you accept somebody? The Quran confirmed him to be a fraud, a liar. And you are saying to me, ask him. I, I never said ask him. You said, you said, you said to River Singer yes. confirm, to River Singer yes. confirm, but isn't it to River Singer is the enemy of Jesus? Okay. Uh, isn't him the enemy of Islam? No, he is the enemy of Jesus that is mentioned okay, in the Quran. No, because isn't it the Quran says the one is enemy to the Prophet Allah, he said is enemy of Allah? Yes. Okay. And you just said he is an enemy of Jesus. <laughs> no, the the quality of Jesus mentioned. No, he don't, he don't accept Jesus at all. He says Christ did not come yet. He don't believe he's a prophet. So you are a fraud again. And listen, is it to read a singer? He said that the the, the the story of Jesus being born of a virgin is coming from the Greek mythology. This is a lie. Look, a lot of the things I disagree so with him. So why you mention somebody, you know, you know a lot of things that he's not, me. Okay. He's, oh, dude, he's if, not you wanna, if you want to prove me wrong, don't mention somebody is an idiot. You don't even dare to speak to me. At least give me something from your religion. Now, I'm, I'm asking you, is Allah, is a word mean God or it is a name? Because I can open right now a very Islamic official website and they will say Allah is the, uh, the unique name of God, not a word mean God. Okay, so it could be your name. What name could be? So you are a Muslim all your life. You do not know your God name? I know his name Allah, okay? I can call him Ar-Rahman, I can call him whatever. Okay, hold on. Did you say Ar-Rahman? Yeah. Okay. Who is Ar-Rahman? Ar-Rahman, the merciful, my Allah. No, no, who is Ar-Rahman? Who? God, God is merciful. This is not the question. Who is Ar Rahman? Oh, okay. Ar Rahman Rahim. Okay, who is Ar Rahman? Why are you repeating the same thing? Who is Ar Rahman? Allah. So, who is Allah? God. Oh, okay. And when the first time Muhammad he said the word Ar Rahman? I don't know. Like in the starting of the Quran. No, it's great. Did you hear it? In the start of the Quran. But according to the Quran, chapter 17, verse 110, the first time Muhammad, he used the word Ar-Rahman, it was there. And this was many years after Muhammad claiming to be a prophet. And you are the one who said that in the start of the Quran, so you Muslims corrupt the Quran because before that date, nobody used the word Rahman. First time it was in chapter 17. Read it. Chapter 17, verse 110. The Arab, they said to him, okay, we know that your God, Allah, is an, his, his name is Allah. And now you are saying in the name of Ar-Rahman. So who is Ar-Rahman? And then Muhammad, he said to them, Allah told me to tell you this. Say to them, O Prophet, call upon him as 
Allah or call upon him as a Rahman. Call him whatever name you will. <laughs> I call him potato. So you're a prophet. He did not call the name of Ar-Rahman in the beginning of the Quran. And when the Muslim, they bought the word there, they are corrupting the Quran and the proven in front of you. We can open the interpretation and everybody will see in a second that Muhammad never, never, never used the word Ar-Rahman before. What happened? Suddenly Muhammad discovered that his God have a new name. You say Christian Prince. Christian Prince, yeah, what other water? I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you from hell. Oh, I don't okay. want... Hold on, hold on. You want to save me from hell? Yes. Are you saved from hell? Me? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, as long so, as I... So why the Quran, why the Quran says, وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَرَدُهَا not, not a single one of you, but he will enter hell. You see, that is an... A perfect example that you are deceiving your audience. Okay, I want an answer, don't you? Let us say, and let us say for the sake of argument, you are right. Get me busted. Why the Quran saying, Ma min kumu illa, where you are not even one of you, but he shall enter hell? I'm going to get you faster right now. Mm, answer Hell doesn't literally mean we are going to go inside of hell. Ah, you will go in the attic of the hell. You will not oh. go inside the hell. Our Prophet Alaihissalam explained this. There is a bridge, there is a bridge oh, okay. upon which everybody will walk. Okay. Yeah. And Prophet will be saying, "Ya Allah, have peace upon them, hmm. have mercy upon them." Okay. Every Prophet will be saying that. Even Jesus will be saying that okay, about but, but his. Tell me, tell me, what happened to you in the bridge? On the bridge. We have there is hellfire underneath the bridge, mm. and every person has to go uh, cross the bridge to go to Jannah. So you, Allah will barbecue your ass when you are going over the bridge. No, Allah will save us in, in a split second. We won't even feel anything. Mm. Muslims okay. won't feel I anything. Want you, I want you to read for me chapter twenty-one, verse number ninety-one. It says. That all of them they are worry doing to Jahannam. Worry doing. What worry doing to Jahannam mean? It's mean you will enter hell. Do you agree with this? Uh, translate in English, like I want to see the translation. Please. Chapter twenty-one. You can open it from your side. It says, "Antum laha worry doing. All of you will enter hell. Worry doing mean you will enter hell. Do you agree with the translation? Well, and that will make you even the fuel of hell. Oh, so, but this is not what it says in here, what in English. Uh, go, tell me what it says. No, I am seeing your screen. It's okay. not saying everyone will enter hell. Where does it say everyone will enter hell? Uh -huh. But this is the Kuffar. The Kuffar will not enter hell, all of them? <laughs> okay, the Kuffar... <laughs> okay, you just say it, you just say it. It doesn't say that everyone will enter hell. But you just said to me... That if you don't believe in Allah, everybody will enter hell. And now in wait. verse in front of you, according to your understanding, it doesn't say everyone will enter hell. Wait, wait, wait. Let me explain. That was... Explain, explain. I got confused. Ah, okay. This, this you, means... You always get confused no, or from time to time. Even, even kafirs will walk, but they will fall from the bridge. They will ah, fall to hell. Yeah, there's holes in the bridge. You know, the, like the hole will be bigger and the fire curve. Okay, like the filter. Okay, but here it says, Waridun. Waridun mean you will enter hell in this verse. Do you agree? Yeah, they, they will enter it. Okay, so, okay, so now we agree that Waridun mean will enter hell. No problem. Here we go. The Quran say the same. That all the Muslims to hell, they are Waridun. And here the verse. All yeah, yeah. the Muslims will enter hell. I explained to you, but you you no, again. You cannot explain to me. Are you a scholar? Are you a scholar? I'm telling you, okay. there is a bridge. We will walk from the bridge, but okay, that's it. Okay, 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 okay. What about we see what the scholar says about this? What do you think? Okay, let's see what this. In the translation here, it says you will go over it, but the Quran says what is Let's see if the translation is accurate. We go. And we will see, and everybody will laugh in, in a second. Chapter 19, verse number 71. This is 19. Mm, not one of you, but it will. Hold on, hold on, my friend. We will see the scholar, not you, not me. The scholars, you know better, right? 
This is your shake. This, this is top notch shake. He eats shawarma every day. Not like you and me eat falafel. So look at this. <clears throat> this is a jalalain. I want you to read with me in this in the screen, please. It says, There's not one of you but shall come to it, which is the hell, that shall enter hell. Do you see it? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That that he shall he will enter it. Okay. So why your scholar says all Muslim will enter hell? You see, enter does not mean we will be burning in hell. Ah, okay. So Allah will make you enter hell to do what there? Tour? There is a bridge over it. So the hell... My friend, what bridge? Already you are in. You are in, in. The, the hell... Open. My friend, you are in. You are in. It says enter hell. Okay, you will enter hell to do what? Tourism? Take selfie. Look, again, I, I would say it, Allah, it means over it, not enter. Okay, let me make it simple for you. Is your prophet going to go to heaven? Of course, he's guaranteed. He's indeed. So why your prophet says no? Is he lying, you think? He never says no. Well, here we go. Your prophet says that there's no guarantee he will go to heaven unless Allah, he warp him with his mercy. Are you accusing your prophet to be a fraud? You see, you take everything out of context. Show okay, me the hadith. Give, okay, give me I, the context. Here I, we go. Okay, give me the context, my friend. Go ahead. I will explain you, you see. Okay, it, go ahead, explain. No, I'm, reading it, it. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Okay, it says, Abu Huraira, read it, read it. You, you, know, you know English. Let me zoom in for you so you can see it better. Because all Muslims, they have a weak vision from drinking camel urine. Abu Huraira reported, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying, none of you will be rescued by his work. He was asked, if not even he would and replied not even i unless allah covers me with his mercy mm -hmm. but if you keep to the straight path are moderate pray morning and evening and part of the night and earnestly practice moderation you will reach yes that's it yes that's it yeah but your prophet says that all the work he did will not grant him heaven unless mm -hmm. Allah warp him with his mercy. Yes, yes, of course. That is the part of it. You know, we worship God mm -hmm. and then he will see, he will appreciate it and okay. he will enter us with his okay. mercy. Okay, but do you agree with your prophet saying that your work will not rescue you? You see, you are changing the topic now. You said... topic. No, no, I'm not changing the topic because we want to get to the conclusion. Do you agree with him when he said that your work will not rescue you from hell? It is, he, he is not saying you do not need to work. You this have another to another question. Work. No, he, he said that because if your work will not rescue you, that means your work will not rescue you. That's it. See, when we work, Allah's mercy comes, then both together. No, we no. He says your work will not rescue you. And then in different hadith, he says, لا ينجيه عمله. His, his deeds will not rescue him so is your work required in Islam to go to heaven or not of course it's required but Allah's mercy is what we we do work because so, we so, Allah's mercy. so why you are why he is saying that your work is not required where does he say it's not required so it says not required because it's not going to rescue you where does it say it will not rescue you? It says it clearly that your work will not rescue you. What's wrong with you? Are you blind? The, the hadith that I just read? Yes, it says your work will not rescue you. I'm telling you, it means only work is not enough. It, it says only work is not enough? Yes, you have to have Allah's mercy too. Okay, uh, okay. Let me okay. okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, when your prophet he says 
your work is not enough. What is else enough? When we were, yeah. Allah, with His mercy, He will enter us. He will see we have worshipped Him and okay. He will say, okay, you can go into... I will give you one example. Okay, give me. There was a slave of Allah. He worshipped Allah for 500 years. Hmm. And then when he was brought to the scale, okay. uh, uh, Allah said to the angels, angels enter him into Jannah with my mercy. Okay. So that slave said, oh, no, no, Allah, I want to go with my actions, not with your mercy. Hmm. So Allah said, oh, okay, you want to go with your actions and not by my mercy? Okay. Angels put put 500 years worship on one scale and mm. put just the blessing of one eye that I gave him to see. Okay. Just put that on other scale. Okay. So that that the blessing that he was able to see uh -huh. in this world outweighed 500 mm. years of worship. Now mm. Allah said, oh, throw him into a hell. And he said, Ya Allah, forgive me, I will go through your mercy. Okay, thank you. So all that work of 500 years did not help him, correct? It was the blessing of Allah, correct? Yes, Allah okay, thank blessed you very much. But this, no. is mean, but this is mean the Quran is a stupid book. Because is it no. Allah, he promised you in the Quran to have gardens full of females with bigger breasts if you are having good deeds? So you just said 500 years of worship in Allah is not no. going to get you, take you to no. heaven. So why Allah in the Quran in chapter 2, verse number 55, 50, 25 says, that those who have, uh, you know, do, do the the, uh, the righteous things like killing the Christian, raping Christian women, kidnapping children, raping them, all the righteous things of Allah, all of those, if you do it, you will go to heaven and Allah will give you even rivers underneath of you. You are not understanding my point. I understand, my friend. Even you explain it. You said to me, you said to me, it is you, it is you who said to me, there's a guy who prayed to Allah 500 years, correct? Yeah. Okay. And then they said to him, which one is the one you want to be going to heaven with? Your act, your action, your deed of 500 years worshiping Allah or one blessing from Allah? He shows? No, 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 not one blessing from Allah. You are, you are twisting my words. Allah said, mm -hmm. okay, you have done good. You have worshipped me 500 years. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. Now go to my mercy. So he said, no, 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 not your mercy by my actions. So Allah said, how can you be that arrogant? You were able to do the actions because I gave you eyes, hands, everything to worship. Hmm. Okay. It, so uh, uh, let, let me let, let's make it clear now. So if you are a person worshiping Allah all your life, let us say you live for a thousand years, and then Allah will give you mercy in the top of your act, and that will make you go to heaven. Correct? Not on top. I will explain you. If mm -hmm. I live thousand years, okay, and I worship Allah thousand years, uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. and then. Allah will see, okay, you have worship, you have done what I have asked you to do. Okay. Now I will have mercy on you that I will give you Jannah. Go mm -hmm. by my mercy. That's how it works. Okay, so when the Quran is a lion then, because the Quran says, if you do those things, where is the word mercy here? Do you see it? It says, those who do the good deeds for them is heavens and river. So the guy that in the is story... the mercy. <clears throat> Heaven is the mercy. Oh, my friend, the heaven is the mercy. Are you are you are you kidding me? So, okay, hold on. He is saying to them, if you do good deed, you get the mercy. Correct? Yes. Okay. So why he's saying to the guy, you will not get the mercy because you did good deeds? Because he is being arrogant to Allah. He's saying, <laughs> okay, I did good let us, deeds. Let us make it more clear. I will go with you. If I am working all my life worshiping Allah. Mm. Is that what it grant me heaven or my destiny with Allah? No, don't change the topic about I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not just to show you how stupid what you said to me. This is the topic. Okay, is it, if is you it going to change, is it going to change my work into go to hell or I will go still to heaven? Is the destiny of Allah is in total agreement with my act in heaven or in earth? Sorry, or the destiny of Allah will change and doesn't matter what I do in earth. 
don't go to that party. Why you don't want to go to it? This is the, we're talking yeah. about going to, we are going to, we are talking about how we go to heaven. So don't run away. I'm asking no, you. It's a very embarrassing. It's very embarrassing question for you. You don't want to answer, right? So I'm asking you. A person, the same person. I will take the same person. He prayed to Allah 500 years. 500 mm. years. Okay. So mm. 500 years, and then Allah He wrote for him a destiny. Is it possible that Allah He wrote for him to go to hell, even though he prayed for 500 years? Uh, I mean, if he if he did something that terrible, that was greater than his 500 years of worship, then he will go to hell. What do you mean greater? Like, let's say he did something that Allah disliked a lot, but he also worshipped Allah. No, he did Allah. not do anything. He did not do anything of his own act against Allah teaching. Okay, then he will go to heaven, and Allah's promise is true. Okay, I want everybody to be my witness. He said he will go to heaven. And that will be his destiny. Well, the, yes. the, your prophet, he said, no. Your prophet, he said, that what is written by Allah will overcome what he was doing, and then he will go to hell. Let me put for you the hadith so everybody will laugh. I know you, you confuse a lot of people with this, okay? Yeah. Like, sh show me, I will... You you didn't understand that hadith. Okay, this hadith. you explain it to me. Here we go. Here we go. It says here, your prophet saying, and this is not me, that a person of you will do the act of people of heaven all his life until there's only one cubit between him and heaven. And then what is written by Allah will overcome and will take over and he will do the act of people of hell. Read the hadith. You see, you just scroll over a beautiful hadith too. Okay, it's beautiful. Go ahead. Uh, that hadith when Allah says, if my slaves remember me, I remember him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Allah okay, Allah read for me. Read, Allah Allah Allah. read for me so everybody will laugh. Read. By him, start from here. Go on, listen. By him, besides whom there is no God. That one amongst you acts like the people deserving paradise until between him and paradise there remains but the distance of a cubit. When suddenly the writing of destiny overcomes him, overcomes him, and he begins to act like the denizen of hell and thus enters hell, and another one acts in the way of denizen of hell until there remains between him and um, hell a distance of a cubit that the uh, Writing uh, of testing over consumption, and then he begins to act like the people of paradise and enter paradise. Mm -hmm. You you have misunderstood what this means. I'm listening. Go ahead. I will explain to you. Okay, go ahead. Let, let's say, let me talk about you, mm -hmm. Christian Prince. And let's say you talk really bad about my prophet Allah, mm -hmm. but just before you die. You might see a dream in which Jesus might talk to you to accept Islam, and then what does this have to do? I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. It says what Allah wrote in your destiny, not seeing a dream. It says what Allah. Don't no, don't go. I did not see a dream. Abdul, Abdul, does it say there you will see a dream? Don't play games, man. Come on, oh, I'm stop. You know, the, the curry, the curry you are eating is not good. It's cheated. Listen carefully. It says. The destiny overcome him and began to act like the people of hell. So what will what will take over you is not a dream. It's no, a destiny. I know, I know okay, but I, okay. I was trying to explain to no, you. No, but the dream I know. has nothing to do with this. The dream has nothing to do with this. It's a destiny. It's a destiny. It's a no. destiny. It is, it is, it is, is it a destiny or a dream? Yes, it's a destiny. Okay, but what destiny what? is? What is destiny is? Destiny is what, what you, whatever you will do. No, no, no. What destiny is? Is it something decided by Allah? Allah knows what happens. This he is doesn't... not about knowing. Read carefully. Decided for you or knowing because it says will overcome. The guy is praying all his life. He want to go to heaven. And then 
What is written by Allah? There is only one arm between him and heaven. All, almost he is there. And then it says, when suddenly the writing of destiny overcomes him, the writing of destiny. Yes, because Allah wrote what he will do before. Thank you. So Allah, no, okay, guys, Allah, he wrote what he will do. So it is not his choice to do. Oh, no, not his choice does not mean <laughs> like I'm talking to you right now. So Allah wrote that this person will talk to Christian Prince. Abdul, Abdul, listen carefully. The guy is praying to his God for 500 years. He has 15 minutes left to go to heaven. Then what, what will happen? What Allah, he wrote, will take over, which means the action of the person will change. Why? Because Allah, he wrote in his destiny that he have to go to hell. That's what it says. If I look at it from your perspective, it no, seems like Allah... Perspective. No, there's no perspective. But, okay, let me make it more clear. If a child, he died and he is a baby, do you go to heaven or he go to hell? He will go to heaven directly. According to who? Because he's innocent. Okay, so you are saying it is sin what makes us go to hell, correct? Yes. Okay, so if a child he do no sin because he's an infant, let us say he's like six months old, the logic is he will go to heaven, correct? Yeah. And you are sure from that? Mm -hmm. And if somebody believes in such some, something the opposite from this, he is stupid, I think. Do you agree? I'm not going to say stupid because I feel so like you're... So what, he's don't. ignorant? He's ignorant? He's ignorant? No, first show me what you're trying to no, show. No, you are scared now. You are, you are scared. This is why you don't want to say. Because you said he will go to heaven. I said to you, you are sure. And you said, yes, you are sure. He will go to heaven. So either you are right about understanding what destiny is, and then the child will go to heaven because he commit no sin. Or you are wrong. He will go. Your prophet getting you busted. You're a prophet, yes. he went to a funeral with his wife yes. Aisha, and when they yes. came back, Aisha, she said to him, this child, he have a happiness for him, for he, you know, he is going to be in heaven. Why? She said, well, he did not reach the age of someone can commit sin. And this is what you said. You agree with Aisha. Muhammad, he said to her, no, don't be stupid. Allah, he wrote, who will go to hell? When they are not created yet, and who will go to heaven when they are not created yet, and the hate in the front of you, read it. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Yeah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yeah. There is happiness for the child who is There is happiness for the child who is birth from the birth of the child, it has committed no sin, nor has he reached the age when one day. Why did you scroll up? What? Okay. He said, Aisha, for adventure, it may be otherwise because God created for paradise those who are fit for it while they are yet in their father's throne and created for hell those who are to go to hell. Mm -hmm. He created them for hell while they were yet in their father's loins. What does loins mean? It doesn't say alliance actually, it says aslab, which means the backbone. This is false translation. It says aslab, oh. aslab. Aslab means the backbone because the Quran teach that the sperm of the man coming from the backbone. So now what happened? <clears throat> you said a child he go to heaven because he commit no sin, correct? Yeah. This is what Aisha she said. What Muhammad said? No. Because Allah before he created them, he decide where everybody will go. This is what he said, correct? Mm. Mm. So what you said to me, all the stories of the 500 and the, like, but then I'm glad you did not mention the 300, you know, the Spartan, that would be fit for the story because Muslims soon they were added, they would say the 300 Spartan, they converted to Islam. So listen carefully. So the 500 years of a praying and the mercy of Allah is nothing but a destiny. If Allah, he wrote in your destiny that you will go to heaven, you will go to heaven. He will go a child. He is a baby. He did not commit sin. He is a, even a child of a Muslim family. He is a child of an Ansar. So not only he is a Muslim, because Muhammad, he said, every baby is born as a Muslim. He mm -hmm. is a child of a Muslim family. 
And Muhammad, he attended the funeral, which we confirm that he's a Muslim because Muhammad will attend not a funeral or pray on a person unless he's a Muslim. So Muhammad praying on a person, he is a Muslim. He is a child, he's an infant. He commit no sin, he reached no age of sin. Yet he is going, he might go to hell. Why? Because of destiny. It says Allah created paradise for those who are fit for it. That means good people. You, you idiot, you idiot, you stupid. What's wrong with you? This is a child, he commit no sin. No. What do you know? It says here the child he commit no sin. The, the, yes. child, the child yes. now is not a good people. It says he did not reach the age when one yes. can commit sin. And now he is not a good people. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Yes, he died an innocent death. Okay, so he commit he no died. sin. So a person yes. who commit no sin, is he a good people or not? Look, let me explain. A person why you... who commit no sin, is he good yes. or bad? Is he great? Is he yes. bad or good? A person commit no sin, is he bad or good? Great. Great person. This is not the question. A person who commit no sin, is he good or bad? Of course good. Okay, so why he might go to hell? Let me explain. What explain? Go ahead. So what are you doing now? So it means that if a baby, mm -hmm. like let's say Allah throws in hell, that means that baby when he would grow up, he would do a lot of bad things. Abdul, he died. Abdul is stupid. He died. The guy is dead. And you are saying to me when he grow, he will be bad. I mean, where those people come to me from? Get out of here, man. I mean, I, I cannot handle too much things, but stupidity is killing me.